There's music all around the city of Houston, Texas. In this video here, I'm gonna give you a glimpse of what that Houston music scene looks like across 14 different bars or live music venues. So let's just get this going right away with one of the major live music spots in the city of Houston. It's the Heights Theater. It's located in the Heights area along 19th Street in a restored early 1900s movie theater. They do have bigger touring acts there with a big stage and room for a lot of people. And I was finally able to check out the popular Texas artist with a history in San Antonio. It's Alejandro Escovedo. <laughs> Another place that's been really happening lately and promoting a lot of live music is Dan Electros. They call themselves an eclectic spot for live blues and acoustic music, an incubator for live music supporting the best of Houston's musicians. I was able to catch it on a weekend night where they have Howard and the Nosebleeds playing genre blending psych rock. They're based out of Houston. <laughs> Another great club is the Big Easy Social and Pleasure Club. You can get some unique uh, vibes of the Houston music scene here. They call themselves Houston's premier venue for live blues and Zydeco with live blues six nights of the week and Sunday is reserved for Zydeco. A no frills joint with a varied clientele with soulful bands, adult beverages and boogieing. Evelyn Rubio is rocking out there on this day. <laughs> Another great hip and cool spot is Under the Volcano. This is the first craft cocktail bar in Houston with an emphasis on Latin America. A colorful Mexican inspired hangout where they can recommend you some empanadas. They have some really talented music that they feature there. And this is a band with a long history in Texas representing the old Austin scene. It's the Hickoids celebrating 40 years of being together rocking out. Another place here in the historic east side area of Houston, it's been recommended to me, the White Swan, going back to 1937. A live concert venue featuring top and local bands performing all music genres. Sometimes they pull in a younger crowd and that's how it was this night where they had a younger band up there rocking on the stage. Another really hip and cool spot is the Gypsy Poet. This is another spot that's been recommended to me a few times. And this is the location near the Midtown area of Houston. They serve up wood-fired pizza with a side of verses. And they had the rehearsal sessions up there on Wednesday with a jazzy jam going on. Boy, and we sure aren't running out of cool spots here. This is another one called the Marquise 2. They call themselves the home of the original Texas tea. That's a drink you're supposed to get there. And they call themselves a dive bar, but it's pretty fancy in there if you ask me. And I've seen they've been closed for private events and that's not something dive bars do. But they had a Live at the Deuce series going on where they were featuring some really good bands, mostly based out of Houston. This is Christopher Seymour and the Western Cosplay. <laughs> Okay, now we can find ourselves at an unpretentious neighborhood Irish pub here called Penny Whistle Pub. I was actually there for the open mic night that they have on Thursdays, but the inside was overtaken by a bunch of people who are visiting for some kind of Celtic folk music conference thing. They were playing inside, gathered around in circles in multiple areas, so that was pretty interesting to see and hear.
Now check this place out. It's called Echoes, and it's a space dedicated to exploring eclectic sounds and serving quality drinks and bites. It's a family-run restaurant and bar with Greek and Mexican inspiration, named after the Pink Floyd song, and they had the high-flying jazz trio there on Wednesday. Another major Houston spot is Anderson Fair. It's a folk and acoustic nightclub offering live music by singer-songwriters going back into the 1960s. So a bunch of really talented big artists played there. It's an intimate spot where you can find a seat in this dimly lit room and hear some really talented artists through their great sound system. And I got to see John Gorka here when he came through Houston. I need the money down to the land of the bottom line to the bottom line next up we're going to a smokehouse and barbecue called j bar m they call themselves a vibrant beer garden with barbecue classics, crafted cocktails, and connections. And you can have a nice look at the Houston skyline there as the sun's setting down. Susan Hickman was playing, and I believe she's based out of Houston, and she certainly covers a lot of Texas on her tours. Next up is Shoeshine Charlie's Big Top Lounge, another great place for some local music. And this place is a tribute to Shoeshine Charlie Miller, who hung around here and lend a hand to the folks here and introduced the bands back in the day. And his Shoeshine stand still sits there. And this is Lauren Lackey's, I think that's how you say her name. And I think she's out of Austin. Right across from Shoeshine Charlie's is the Continental Club there, right in the Midtown area of Houston. They got a big old stage there and they got a bound of room for standing and seating. And this is the Zydeco Sunday with B. Cole and the Zydeco Bulls. And finally, we're going up to a new place that I recently heard about for having some pretty big shows, Sawyer Park Ice House. It's actually located north of Houston with a spring address. It's an expansive sports-centric venue with a terrace offering drinks, live music, and southern style pub grub. And I got to see Jarrett Ray Reddick there of Bowling for Soup. So that's your look all across Houston at the places that are featuring a lot of the local Houston artists. And this isn't the first video I've done about the Houston music scene, so I'll add a link to that here in the thumbnails and the description below. You can also click on my YouTube channel and check out those thumbnails and see all the topics I post about of the music scene across Texas and touring around Texas. Click on a topic that's interesting to you, give that video a view, and thanks for giving this video a view.